In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I wash, maintain and manage my cornrows. Also, if you are here on my channel for the very first time, you're very welcome. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and don't forget to click that notification bell button so you can be informed when I upload a brand new video. Let's get into this video, guys. Uh, a big sister and I were chatting on Facebook on how rough our cornrows have been since we can't go out to do it. And she was saying that she, she's not really sure about how to care for our cornrows. So I just wanted to share this video with you quickly because there are a lot of people who probably don't know how to care for their cornrows. As you all know, we've been at home. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make my hair by myself. This is one of the things I truly want to learn and I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to make time to actually try and see if I can start making my own hair, at least cornrows. So this is my hair currently. It's been in cornrows now for more than six weeks. That's quite a long time for cornrows. However, there's nothing I can do about it. So what I currently do is that I, I still wash my hair as normal and that's why it's so rough. So you will see my hair is not so dirty, it's not dry. Uh, so I still maintain and manage my hair because the hair grows from the scalp. And if your scalp is dirty, your hair doesn't grow as much. So in this case, I'm not shampooing my hair at all. I'm not shampooing my hair at all. And this is a time when you need a good quality conditioner or a good quality shampoo if you have to shampoo at all. So for me to wash my cornrows, I'm going to be using this Share Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. So this is what it looks like. It strengthens and restores your hair. So it has shea butter, it has peppermint, it has apple cider vinegar in it. All those things are actually very good for natural hair. So this is a new product to me. This is not sponsored by the way. It's new to me and I ordered it via Amazon. So if you are looking to buy anything at the moment, just search on Amazon. Amazon is currently still delivering worldwide, but there's a limitation on some of the products that they are delivering. So if they consider it essential, I think they deliver it quicker, even with your prime subscription. So today I'm going to be showing you how to wash my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and get the conditioner. Like I said, I'm not shampooing my hair at all. I'm only conditioning. Conditioner is enough to wash your hair if it's in cornrows. Shampooing your hair all the time can really make your hair dry. It can make your hair flaky and itchy. So if you have to shampoo at all, make sure you use a shampoo that is formulated for natural hair. So. That is how I wash my hair, even when it's in cornrows. So because I've been washing my hair, it's obviously I've, uh, I've shrinked. So by the time I take it off, it's going to look longer. So I'm going to get that conditioner. If you see me looking down, my mirror is there. So, so I apply that to my entire scalp and my hair. This, by the way, smells really, really nice. It smells nice. As you can see, I'm actually putting it more on the scalp and it's important for me to wash my hair because I've been working out so and I sweat and I don't want uh, to have to leave my hair sweaty like that. I go on now and leave this for about 30 minutes and then I wash, okay? I use the opportunity to, to massage my scalp so blood can flow nicely on my head which actually stimulates growth okay so i'm going to go ahead and wash this off now and i'll be back to you when i finish washing okay i'm back and i've washed my hair uh like i said earlier on i only used i only did co-washing using conditioner only okay so right now as you know the following step obviously after washing your hair is to use a leave-in conditioner so I also have the leave-in conditioner for the same product so this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil which also strengthens and restores the hair 
Uh, like I said, my hair is being in cornrows now for more than six weeks, obviously because I can't go out to go and do it. No salon is open. So this conditioner, a quick review there. It has no sulfate, no parabens, no paraffin, no mineral oil, no synthetic color, and no petrolatum. So it's an all natural hair product. I saw the review and that was why I decided to buy it just in case you want to try it, okay? It smells nice, it smells all right. So I'm going to be using leave-in conditioner on my hair, just the same way that I did with the conditioner. So the leave-in conditioner obviously is supposed to lock in moisture and also to make the air easy to manage. Even though I'm not gonna be combing it, it's still going to make my hair soft. My hair shrinks. I'm washing it while it is plaited like that. So I ensure to use a lot on my tip. Very important. You know your hair starts shedding from the tip, not from the root. Your hair grows from the root. So I use that very nicely and generously on my hair. And that is it right there. Leave-in conditioner is not oil, it's not going to, it's going to help soften your hair, but it's not really the oil that your hair needs. So I'm going to take this one step further. If you've been watching my video for a while, you would know that I had, I made this homemade shea butter mix that I use at home. This is another jar of that shea butter mix. If you've not seen that video, you may be missing out. I'll put you on the top right hand side corner here for you. Click on that link. How I prepare the shea butter mixture is going to be there for you. So I'm going to get a little bit. It's very good for my hair and I've been using it for a long time. So this is it right here. I'm going to be using it on my edges, obviously. So I'm going to use it on my root. Right there on my root. Obviously the air grows from the root and we want to keep stimulating air growth by applying moisture to the root. Okay, on the entire rows of my corn rows. Okay, obviously on my edges as well. And right in front, right here. I take it all the way to the back. And most importantly, your hair starts shedding from the tip, not from the root. I'm going to get enough on my palm, rub it together to warm it up. And I'm going to be using it on my ends right here my hair has grown a lot i'm actually really happy with my hair my natural hair is about two years now and uh, i'm really happy with it i'm still hopeful that it's gonna grow longer than this so by the time i take off the cornrows i'll be able to see the genuine growth the genuine length of my hair i'm still applying some to the tips my hair is due for trimming actually but i unfortunately i'm not going to be taking out these cornrows at the moment because i can't make my cornrow myself and i don't want my hair to be left unmanageable i can't make any kind of hair myself unfortunately so i just have to wait till all this stay at home thing is over so i'm going to run my finger right here through my head Yeah, right there. And it's all done. So that is how I wash, maintain and manage my cornrows uh, when it's all rough and everything. Right there, my hair is clean. My scalp is clean. And my hair continues to grow. The longer you actually live in your cornrows or your braids, the longer your hair is likely to be. You can't continue to comb your hair all the time. It's going to be shedding. And you can't wash your hair, obviously, all the time. You can't shampoo your hair all the time as well. It's going to make your hair so dry. The most important thing is to know what works for your own hair and then follow through. And that is what I've done personally for my research. Also, when I'm going to be trimming my hair in the near future, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I'm going to do the trimming. I just ordered this brand new shears. It's not scissors now. This one is actually 
designed for cutting your hair so i just got this one also it's very sharp so when i'm going to when i take off my hair and i wash it and i want to trim it i'm going to be sharing that with you just in case you don't know how to do that effectively as well as you know my channel is always giving you the right information and uh, making sure that you're doing the right thing be it in your hair be it in your skin be it in your career or your lifestyle generally my my intention is to keep you motivated uh inspired in whatever thing i do so and i'm going to continue to do that on this channel so that is how i maintain my hair i do hope that you found this video helpful if you found the video helpful please give it a thumbs up also please feel free to share with your friends and family it's all free and if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below guys continue to stay safe let's continue to follow all the precautionary measures that has been listed by the state if you're in ireland is hsc if you need any information go ahead and check the hsc website another place to go is the world health organization website genuine information that you need for this lockdown for this stay at home season is right there for you so instead of going on social media to consume information that are not accurate go on to hse or the world health organization you get the accurate information that you need right there and keep the faith as well don't be fearful but most importantly stay safe in your own <laughs> i love you for watching and i'll speak to you soon on my next video god bless and goodbye